Good morning, everyone. Well, it's almost noon now. Sorry, I'm running late. I had a doctor's appointment this morning, and it it went pretty well. Uh, not that the doctor could do a lot for me, but that's another story. Anyway, I'm doing today's reading, and I have a a few other surprises in store for you all along the way. I'm going to talk about uh, a crystal that I picked out that uh, I thought might uh, be helpful to some of you all. Plus, it looks pretty nice. <laughs> I think it's pretty. Okay, I'm shuffling up the cards, as you all can see. Here we go. Divide it. Cut the deck three times. Um, let's put it this way. Okay. And today's card is oh, the lovers. Now, the Lovers is almost always a welcome card in any tarot reading. They represent the, a union of like a yin and yang coming together. But there is some caution to be had when you see this card because it depicts the Garden of Eden and the choice that was presented in that biblical story. Um, it, it represents love and light. And it shows the angel blessing the union of the two pure souls the choice to eat from either the tree of life or take the apple from the serpent is represented thus we may be facing this choice when this major arcana card appears the lovers coincide with the zodiac sign of gemini so this tarot card could be pointing to a gemini in your life or at the same time, it might simply be implying a choice to be made. This is one card where your heart needs to lead over your head in the decision at hand, but you still need to do the right thing. Follow your intuition and call on your angels and know that signs of a soul connection or a soul-filled experience, maybe in a work situation, is at hand when you see the lovers arrive. All right. Okay. Now, I wanted to uh, tell you all that today there's three particular zodiac signs that might have particular problems. All right. The first one is Aries. And for Aries, it says you could be feeling especially hard on yourself today as it feels like you're unable to move in the direction that you want to. It may not even be that you want to take on these drastic changes, but only that it seems you can no longer put them off. That somehow you have being asked to be ready for something that you weren't sure you ever wanted to do anyway. But this is where you are. Your task today isn't just to try to define your faith, but to accept you are in this current place in your life. You may not look back and say that you consciously chose to end up here. It may take new pathways that you could never have imagined, yet it doesn't really matter how you got here, but only that you have. Right now, with the super new moon energy and Venus changing over zodiac signs, you may be feeling differently about what you consider stable and secure. You may start to see what defines it for you versus what we are told that it should be. But this is a part of your journey that you're on right now. The space of being able not to only accept things, but they are also that maybe part of the problem is that you always did see things differently. You just didn't give yourself permission to accept that. 
Next up, we have Cancer. While you're a water sign, the current intense Scorpio energy coming in is very different than you're used to. It isn't necessarily bad, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be the most comfortable as well. You could be asked to face some of the recent darkness that you've had to move through in terms of the stories that you tell yourself about what has happened and what is possible. This could also bring some of those things that you thought had a resolution to the surface once again. Instead of getting disheartened that you're being asked to deal with someone that you thought you emotionally came to terms with, look for why these feelings are coming up. Did you admit to yourself the truth of why you feel that way? Did you allow yourself to see the truth of the situation versus the story that you've told yourself? Use the uncomfortableness of the intense feelings that arise today for your greater healing. You also have the full resources and capability to truly heal your heart and mind so that never again you are caught in a way between them. But to do that, you have to be fully open to the truth, no matter how dark it may be. And the third one is Libra, which is mine. And it says, here's hoping that November is a bit better than October. And I say amen to that because October was a terrible month for me. I was sick the whole month. But uh, anyway, back to my reading. Um, not those things have been awful for you by any means. Well, they have. But uh, one day you will likely look back on this time and be grateful for all you have experienced. Right now, though, it's uncomfortable. It's hard to feel like we keep going into something over and over again or that we've done all the things and it's still not getting any better. But this is the process of learning, healing, and moving on. This moon setting you free from a lot of the weight you've been carrying over what ifs also brought with it a heavy dose of what exactly it's going to take to truly heal from this and start making different life choices. Don't let a step that's 10 in front of you intimidate you from taking the first one. Don't let someone who went through what you were 10 years ago make you feel like you'll never get there. You, we you will. Beginnings are always messy, and at some point, we just figure out how to find the beauty within it. Don't just doubt that it's ever worth it, because I promise that it is. All right, now, and final, I wanted to show you all, and I'm, I'm sure I have showed you all before, but uh, I have gotten these crystals, and I love these. And excuse me if I get it wrong, but I believe they're called chalcopyrite, pyrite, chalcopyrite. And these are so pretty. Let me even get you closer. And what this is, is, and I know you've heard of it before, it's called Fool's Gold. Can you see the gold in it there? It's called fool's gold but it's got this beautiful it's blue deep blue here's one that's really pretty it's uh more of a teal blue color and uh they also come in reddish colors here's uh something with some red in it if you can see it I guess not. Up here in this corner, it's got red. No, you can't see that. Sorry. I'm very sorry, folks. Well, maybe you can see this. This looks, it, This one's pretty. It looks like a little starfish on it. Almost. Anyway. Yes, this is called Fool's Gold. 
And I just, I love this stone. Um, but anyway, chalcopyrite is also known as peacock ore. It's a, an iridescent crystal composed of copper iron sulfide on ore of copper. And it gets its coloring from oxidation of the crystal surface. It's a stone of creativity, flexibility, and innovation. Chalcopyrite pyrite helps create new friendships and finds lost items. It can help us when our lives have become mundane by stimulating the creative process and new ideas. Chalcopyrite is the merging of iron's affinity with Venus, therefore beauty, and copper relation to Mars, which is power. Because of this, the stone can benefit those in the fashion, media, and sales industry, as well as those starting a new fitness regimen or martial arts program. It helps us to deal with fear of failure and low self-esteem. It enhances communication with the universe and helps in meditation. Chalcopyrite shields us from the effects of lengthy medical treatments, such as chemotherapy, or repeated surgical procedures. It is a detoxifying stone and may also help with inflammation, fevers, bronchitis, and brain disorders. Okay, and as I always say, I am not a doctor. This is never to be taken as a substitution for seeing a doctor. You know, I always advise, go see a doctor if, if you have any of these problems. But if you're diagnosed with these problems and already have them, I say, why not? What have you got to lose by trying it you know cover all your bases better safe than sorry but anyway that's all i have to say for today i hope you have a very blessed and wonderful friday yay it's friday peace you all Bye-bye.